What's up guys, Chris here. Welcome to my four-way back attack. Now, this is back exercises in which your hands start out basically in front of your body and come back closer to your torso. Typically, these are referenced in two different ways. One in a vertical plane and the second in a horizontal plane. In the vertical plane, we typically call these things pull-ups or various varieties, varieties of pull-ups. Be they one arm, archer, chin-ups, pull downs, what have you. Then we also have what are typically the horizontal movements usually referred to as rows. This can be a bent over barbell row, a T-bar row, a one arm dumbbell row, any machine row that you can think of. These are what we typically call into the rows. Now here in my gym, I have a Valor Fitness functional trainer as well as you know my weight stack. So I figured, can I find a way to incorporate both varieties and maybe even more? And I found a way to do it four ways using this the functional trainer and this as well so first movement is a row in which you're at about a 45 degree angle of pull meaning down to the ground i'm supporting my chest or trying to here on the rack so that i don't end up leaning back and turning it into just an upright row the second variety is when it's straight on 90 degrees where your arm is basically just straight out in front of you as you can see right here. Third variety is now I want the angle to be at about 135 degrees. And then the fourth variety is straight up and down, in this case, a simple pull down. Now for my first four sets, you see I was using an actual pull down bar. On my second four sets, I go to handles that allow my wrist to rotate so I can do supination. So the first four sets, I will terminate the set either when getting the bar all the way to the weight stack here is very difficult or I just can't do that. However, on my second set on the way back down with the rotating handles, I go to the point of I can't even really even hit a 90 degree angle with my forearm because with most pulling movements, the end of the movement where you hit failure the first is not where you're done moving. You just simply cannot pull the weight, say a full two feet, but you can move the weight 18 inches or 16 or 12 inches or even half a foot. So now I reverse it on the way back down. Again, I do a pull down. Then I go to the 135 degree angle, move to the 90 degree angle, and finally move to the 45 degree angle again. Interestingly enough, I found I'm actually strongest in about the 135 degree angle. At this point, my lats are actually able to kick in more than they were with the 45 degree angle pull or the straight on 90 degree angle pull. And by the time this workout is done, I've got a great pump going in my rear delts, all across my traps, and my lats as well. So give it a try. See if you like it. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.